Hey, what's going on, everybody? Willis here, back again with another Borderlands 3 video. Uh, we got a Moe's build for you guys today. So, I know a lot of you have been asking for me to do Zane build, Moe's builds, Black builds, Amara builds. This time, we're doing Moe's because uh, she's actually insanely broken. I've been playing a lot of Moe's over the past two days, just trying out new builds and obviously seeing what works well. Um, she's extremely good at bosses and just ad clearance. And this build is super cool. So, yeah. I want to let you guys know that I'm running a giveaway this month, guys, for the Diamond Edition of Borderlands 3. If you'd like to enter that, there'll be a link at the top of the video description. If you guys enjoy the video as well, don't forget to hit it with a like and make sure to turn on them bell notifications. But yeah, let's jump into the build and I guess what it centers around. Now, Moe's has a very unique ability where the lower the health she has, the more damage she will do. So uh, this build centers around pretty much, as you can see in the bottom left, having one health but a ton of shields. Um, having this one health gives you an insane damage buff, and it pretty much rivals flak damage, which is actually crazy, because flak right now is just insanely broken, as you know. You can pretty much do the same, if not more damage than flak with this build. So how do you get this build working? Before I even go over the skills so you don't waste your time, this is a, I guess, item-focused build to do this, I guess, DPS. So the things you will need is this artifact right here, the Deathless artifact now what this does is it pretty much makes your health go to one but it gives you a bunch of shields in return so this is super important to make this build work and the cool thing is this actually gives me radiation bonus damage which i'll go into in a minute why this is so important now grenades honestly doesn't matter i just use porcelain pipe bomb because it's the porcelain pipe bomb this doesn't make the build do more damage we're not going to be using it in this i guess gameplay when we show you the dps Next, I've got a purple class mod. Now, you're probably thinking, Willis, a purple class mod? No, this is actually really good. Guys, do not throw away your purple class mods because some of them are actually better than the legendary ones. This one actually gives me 25% increased weapon damage. Super good. Like, just look through your vault and see if you have any that just give flat weapon damage because this is the best thing in the game you can be stacking right now is that 25% weapon damage. That's nuts. As for weapons, the two major weapons in this build, the Liuda Sniper and the Butcher Shotgun. Actually insanity, these two weapons. And then anything else, it's just preference. You can use what you want. So this sniper right here, I'll be uploading a video probably later today or tomorrow showing you actually how to get it. Because there is a specific way in the game you can actually get this. You can also get it from random drops as well. But this sniper here is very, very important. And because it's actually radiation, it's getting buffed from my artifact so this helps a ton as well this is pretty much my boss melting machine it's got 40 percent critical hit damage on it as well which makes it nuts and this is basically my ad clearing gun as well the butcher 71 percent increased weapon damage 10 percent critical hit damage and a bunch of other insane stats these are the main two weapons of the build which makes it extremely powerful and for my shield i'm using the transformer which is super good been using this for a while now pretty much any shock damage that hits me just recharges my shield and obviously uh, with having one hp uh, you got to make sure your shield is up all of the time but we're going to make sure our shield stays up with this build so yeah let's go into the skills and show you all of that so yeah this build focuses around the bottomless mags tree and the shield of retribution but yeah let's start off with the shield of retribution tree so uh, you want to put five points into selfless vengeance so whenever i reload um i lose a small portion of my health and this will grant me incendiary damage to me and my allies for a few seconds super good so here you want to put five points into armored infantry so when my shields are active i gain a damage reduction and increased gun damage so when my shields are up as you can see they're on like 30k um, i'm getting 15 percent increased weapon damage and 15 percent or 13 percent uh, damage reduction super good put five points into vladov ingenuity so my maximum shield is increased and i gain resistance to shock damage super good then go into thin red line so a portion of my health is actually reserved but cannot be restored so this actually removes some of my health but it doesn't really matter because of my artifact so this makes my health lower but my maximum shield is actually increased by 60 percent of my max reserved health so that's awesome i put three points into drowning in brass so every time i get a kill i pretty much get increased fire rate and gun damage for me and my allies put one point into experimental munitions so whenever i score a critical hit i deal bonus incendiary damage and here's the main uh, kicker for this build is desperate measures so my gun damage is increased depending on how low my health is the lower her health the greater the increase and this can go up to 50 percent weapon damage so as you can see i've got one hp so i've just instantly got 50 percent 
increased weapon damage just from having one HP. So here we go. We're going to move on to the other tree here. The, uh, I guess, minigun tree. So you want to put five points into Cloud of Lead. So occasionally, um, my shots and my Iron Bear shots will deal additional incendiary damage and it won't consume ammo. Here we've put five points into matched set. So my currently equipped weapon gains a stacking bonus to the magazine size for every piece of equipped gear matching that manufacturer. It's just a quick thing I put some points into. It doesn't really need to go into that. Uh, we've got two points in redistribution. So after I get a critical hit, I regenerate ammo for a few seconds. Then I've actually got eight points into scorching RPMs. So I gain increased fire rate and increased critical damage just flat out. Uh, with this, this is giving me 24% increased fire rate and 32% critical hit damage. So I think this is actually thanks to my class mod. Yeah, my class mod gives me that super good. Moving down, we've got five points in the iron bank. This just increases my magazine size by 35%. And then I've got three points in click click. So I gain increased gun damage as my magazine empties. The less ammo there is remaining, the greater the increase. And this gives me up to 36% gun damage. So pretty much how this build works is you're just shooting and your gun's pretty much never empty because you've got so many perks that basically have a chance to give you ammo back. So many perks that just give you increased damage. The lower your mag gets, the more bullets you generate. It's just crazy. So you can pretty much fire forever with this build and just not have to reload. It's insane. Uh, you've probably seen the gameplay at the start of the video, me melting bosses and obviously running around killing ads. I am listening to the comments, guys. I know you guys want me to show the map, so I'm not just cheesing the builds. I did show the map in both of them, so you can actually see the legitimate damage, so I'm not just getting insane damage from the Mayhem 3 buffs. This build works extremely well without buffs, so you can see that for yourself firsthand. But this build is super good for just clearing out bosses, clearing out ads. And like I said, this build actually rivals flak so yeah if you're looking to pick a class you can either pick mose or flak honestly they're both insanely good um i'm going to be playing some amara this week as well for those of you who are amara players i'm going to see how good she is and stuff like that but for now i'll leave you guys with some gameplay of me on this mose build i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh subscribe if you're new and obviously jump in the discord if you're looking to trade items um it's an awesome place to be there's a lot of cool uh borderlands community members and stuff like that i'll see you guys in my next video this has been willis gaming and peace Right!